Well, what you just heard was the key sign that you or someone in your family may be infected with whooping cough. Right now, there is an outbreak of this highly contagious disease across the inland northwest. On Tuesday, there was a confirmed outbreak of whooping cough, also known as pertussis, in Spokane County. We told you about that. Here's a look at the most up-to-date case numbers for our area. Today, there are 133 confirmed cases of whooping cough. Six of these cases have resulted in hospitalizations. At the same time last year, Spokane County had zero cases. And in all of North Idaho, there have been a total of 278 cases. Mary Sheridan joins us in studio now. So Mary, which kids are most likely to catch this infection from and who would they be catching it from? That's a really good question, Kirsten, because even though whooping cough is an infection commonly contracted by children, doctors tell me that adults are more likely to spread it. And so it's the cough, 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 cough. I cannot catch my breath. And then I suck in and have the whoop where I go, oh, trying to catch my breath. <laughs> It's not an easy sound to hear, but the distinct gasp for air in between coughing fits is whooping cough's signature trademark. With an outbreak in Spokane County and case numbers rising in both Washington and Idaho, many families are worried about keeping the infection out of their homes. Unfortunately, this is one of those things where adults tend to be the people who are transmitting it to others. Specifically, unvaccinated adults are the most likely to infect those around them. This can be dangerous because serious cases of whooping cough can result in hospitalization. But even if you don't go to the hospital, there's no medication to treat it, and whooping cough can be hard to kick. We used to call pertussis and still do the 100-day cough. So you may cough until you're out of breath or cough until you have post-tussive emesis for literally three months. If you're unsure if you've updated your DTaP or Tdap vaccine in the last 10 years, it's not a bad idea to get another one. Very little risk. If you think it's been a really long time, probably safe to go get one right now. And if you or someone at home has a lingering cough that's making it hard to breathe or has lasted more than seven days, Dehol says it's a good idea to call your clinic. There, you'll get a rapid test to determine if you have whooping cough. In studio tonight, Mary Sheridan, 4 News Now.